I'm Ruth Gibson and I live in London. Bruno Martelli, who I collaborate with, he went on a sailing expedition to the Arctic, but I didn't go. And ordinarily, we normally go to the wilderness together and explore and then make work from the experience of that. But this time, I didn't go with him. We decided to create a piece where um, I would imagine the journey that he took. I guess um, our practice, I guess for a number of years, we've really been quite interested in uh, uh, kind of very, really pastoral themes of like figure and landscape. And so uh, quite a lot of our other pieces, we've uh, had performance involved in it and we've motion captured performers. Um, and we've made these kind of virtual environments and we've put the performers into it. And so this is kind of really what we're interested in. But this piece is a slight departure because we don't have any kind of performance element. And really, we've recently started to think about some ways of the person that's actually uh, the viewer is kind of somehow the performer. So the, they have to kind of activate the environment by interacting with it. These kind of, um, I guess, uh, just, just experiences that possibly people wouldn't get oftentimes. So this is why we're working with virtual environments. I think we're just trying to, we're trying to put people in a position where they're kind of, they make, they make the discovery. We kind of try to really dial down the kind of narrative elements of the whole thing so that they just, we're trying to, I mean, we, we are uh, literally trying to get them to sort of go on a journey and, uh, and let them have a sort of cold reading and see what it means for them. And it's, I guess it's, we're trying to leave, I guess, and in all of our works, we try and leave a, a space uh, where um, we're not shoving um, information or ideas down people's throats. So that at the space that we leave, it actually lets their imagination kind of fill it up. And I hope that they would draw their own conclusions.